Mate, I didn't tell you to go out of the car yet, Calvin, mate. Oh, you can't, mate. No, 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 that's too far. Guys, you see how quick he got out? On it, that's why. On it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm right, man. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, <laughs> you know what, before we even go into the Golf R, what happened with the RS6? So the obviously, R you R broke R6. it in the last video, didn't you? Yeah, so as you can see, like I'm driving my Golf R today. Uh, I can't drive my RS6 because Ricky broke it, didn't he, no. in the last video? Mate, I've been getting like harassed online, man. <laughs> I've been getting cyber bullied and all sorts. But because apparently we broke it, didn't yeah. we? Let's no, no, I broke it, guys. Like, oh shit, man, is this not good? Or, is dog, we lit? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, do you want to just update on everyone what's happened? Yeah, so basically, it, um, so that night it went straight from there on a recovery truck to VRS. Right. And the rear drive shaft, back left drive shaft broke, basically. Okay. So right. it's given way at the weakest point. So luckily it weren't the gearbox. So what we said, my fault, yeah? For the camera, for the record. For the camera. To race rules and that. The race rules and all that, but I did encourage it, so I think it's a 50 50 thing. Nah, so. it's, I, I'm, I'm driving, isn't it? So, you know, you still got to pay though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait there, but have you got a bill yet? No, I ain't got a bill yet, no so bill. I'll be doing a video on Guys, man, come on, we're YouTubers, yeah? Trust me, man, will get blessed. Don't, <laughs> don't worry, I'll hook you up, yeah? Don't worry, I've got it. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so go far. Um, go far, yeah. So yeah, it's kind of the last video that we're probably going to see on this car. Um, so if you didn't know, Calvin's doing a competition on this. Obviously, previously the ticket sold out. The winner of the competition, you see the the, the winner actually on your channel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he didn't want the car. He actually preferred the cash, so he paid him money. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, Calvin's put it back up for yeah, for competition. competition yeah, yeah, yeah. So the competition's pretty much by the time this video goes live, it will be pretty much sold out. But if there's yeah. any more tickets left, we'll put a link. Yeah. Description below or something. Yeah, 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 guys, get a ticket, man. Twenty-five pound. There's only fourteen hundred and ninety-nine available, and uh, you know, obviously, Ricky's not going to turn down the opportunity to, you know, take this out for a Go spin. Go for the last. Yeah, hopefully last. we don't uh, break nothing. Don't yeah, break we'll nothing. Just take Ricky. it easy today. Yeah, take it easy, man. We're on Ricky's race track as well, so um, mm. yeah, should we do it? We'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's jump in. Yeah, let's go, man. <laughs> VW Audi product, you mean? Yeah, what do they call it? Not fit for... for not fit for purpose? Not fit for purpose. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Oh, it's tuned, isn't it? So. Tuned, yeah, yeah, there is that big debate in there. If you tune a car, things give way, don't they? Well, there's no denying that this Golf R is one of the better sounding ones, isn't it? Yeah, it does sound good, doesn't it? Is it a Miltec, isn't it? Miltec. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, it's a pretty fast Golf far, so it's running a uh, Turbo Technics. Turbo. Is it a V5? V5 Turbo. Yeah. Um, meth injection. What else? They've got it's a stage three car, so it's obviously 560 bhp at the minute on pump mm -hmm. fuel. Take a look. And uh, the chassis is completely stock, right? No yeah, suspension, stock, no yeah. brakes, nothing. Everything else around it's stock. Yeah, it's stock, stock, looks stock as well, doesn't it? Just, yeah. Done draggy times and it was like marginally slower than the RS6. It does feel feels quicker. It, it feels, feels quicker. It feels quicker. Yeah, yeah. But definitely. it's not quicker. It's not quicker now. Yeah. See, there you go, guys. It's it weird. feels quicker, but it's not quicker. When I got in this car and I done the draggy times in this car, I was adamant that this was going to beat the RS6. Yeah. It was like it, it couldn't beat it. So and you re recently went out in your old Nissan GTR stage three, four, stage four point two five, six hundred sixty bhp. That car, I rate that car, didn't I? Yeah. I love that car. 
and I got back in the drive seat of it last week and it was a bit not underwhelming like it's, a, it's an amazing car don't get me wrong but you, yeah. even you said it in a video the other day sometimes you think a car's fast and you progress or you drive drive other cars mm. and then when you go back to that car yeah. it's like, do you know what this actually ain't as quick as I remember right. obviously the GTR because you've been out in so many cars since then yeah. like you've had the McLaren and yeah. a lot of cars R06 was the quickest Golf R was second and GTR was third no yeah serious so this, this is quicker than a stage 4.25 GTR like I say, it feels amazing, doesn't it? And I, I've read the comments on this car, like people saying it's not really a fast car. But listen, this is a fast golf car. Forget all the hype, and you know, I know that there's been shitloads of views and it ain't had engine work and stuff. But let me tell you, this is a quick car, like whatever you want to say. Of course, it's going to be quicker golf cars out there, mm. but don't underestimate this car is a rocket, as you just said. It, it's quicker than the stage 4.25 GTR. Statistically, and it's like, quicker than his uh, no, the RS6 was marginally quicker, like, yeah, the RS6 by 0.1 of a second, literally. Like, Right. So what are you gonna do with the R6, man? You surely like it's a bit fuck you know, man. The, the uh, like you say the, the, the feeling of speed is just, It is so like nimble and on point, isn't it? But uh yeah the R6, I don't know. The problem with the R6 is where do you go from an R6? What's better? There ain't really there's definitely nothing better than an R6. It's like it ticks all the boxes, it's it's a good daily, it's comfortable, it's quick. Um, it's got good draggy times, it sounds good. Mm, it's a good all round package. Yeah, it is a good all round package. And like I say it all the time, we all look at other cars, don't we? And I would, I'd love to change it, but I don't know what to change it for, to be honest. Yeah, the video's gone nuts, mate. The RS6 video. It's trending. It's trending. It's, it's trending, trending on YouTube. Like, it's trending. So <laughs> it literally, like in our life, it went up last night, didn't it? And it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. In that time, it's 102,000 views, not even in. Um, 15 hours or something. No. It's a big thing, you broke my car, didn't you? We had, we had such a laugh about it. Yeah. Like, oh, do you know what? Hopefully, it's nothing serious. And you never know, do you, with cars until you get them, or any problem in the world, you get it looked at. You don't yeah. know how serious it is until you know how serious it is. I don't know why I didn't was. think of the fact that, you know, like Nick had the issue with his. I don't know why it didn't come to my head. To come to my head. Mm. And I thought. Let's just try it. <laughs> it didn't pop. Mate, if that came uh, into my head, I did. Guys, I'm sure I wouldn't have launched it if that came to my head, like, all of the issues that Nick had, like... To be honest, know? I've done it before. I've done it in that mm. car and it had never happened. you done it first time in the car, didn't you? Yeah. And it was fine. Yeah, the first time first... I didn't have the breakdown as much. The second time, mate, I had it down. Fully, fully down, yeah. Because you told me, innit? I told you, yeah, yeah. I mean, as in you was, like, proper... You was, like, push it, like... I was encouraging Because I did, it. I had it down, like... Yeah. When I was in Italy, um, and I launched the uh, Grand Cherokee, the guy was like, you've you've got a force meter, a pound meter, where you've got a... So the... I was like, bam, like, on the brake. Mm. And then... So that's probably what... The hey guys are going to swap over now. Let's just see if there's... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Someone's doing black magic on me. <laughs> Calvin, you ain't spiking me, are you, right now, with the car? You know what? He's us, trying to man. destroy LLF. Don't jinx us. I don't know, destroy LLF. LLF yeah. was on, is on fire at the minute because of broken yeah. cars. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Like, Literally. Yeah, it's nice to get back in here. Uh, as I said, I absolutely love the Golf R's. Proper fanboy, mate. Do you know what? They are such a good car, though, aren't they? Like, yeah, even man, I haven't driven this car for a long time. You get into it, it's a nice car inside and that as well, isn't it? Yeah, it feels a bit laggy there, like at the lower RPM. A bit lazy. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, it sounds nice, man. Honestly, it's not too loud, not too quiet, and it's giving off some nice exhaust sounds as well. Yeah, like a bit of rumble, not over the top like my car. And it is amazing that this is a stock Golf R, apart from like you know the engine. So this engine originally blew up, didn't it? <laughs> it did. Good advertisement. Twenty five pound yeah. ticket. Yeah, twenty five pound ticket, but <laughs> but it has now got an engine in it that works. Um, it's a V Max, wasn't it? So obviously V Max puts your car under a lot of pressure, that like long distance. Yeah. You flat on the throttle, a lot of high temperature, and um, yeah, apparently so, it's a bang. So the oil. Uh, some was it upgraded like for a bigger yeah so like that. we've got a big we've got a bigger sump now so we can carry more oil so it's easier to keep it cool mm -hmm. and there's an oil cooling system on it as well which we didn't have before i chat to a lot of different tuners and uh one guy i speak to on a, a regular basis uh, says that there's a guy that's got a built engine in one of these so he's built the golf 7r engine mm -hmm. and the aim was to produce like seven 750 horsepower mm -hmm. but the engine build that he's done on it has made it uh, less efficient. 
Oh right. Yeah, and it just won't produce the power. Uh, oh, really? I, I, I don't know the technicals, but yeah. they've actually gone and ended up putting a stock Golf R engine back in the car after spending God knows on what on building, building it. it. Yeah. They've ended up going back with a stock Golf R, and I think they put a Civex on it, and now the car's producing the power that the owner actually wants. Oh really? And it actually makes more sense to. You know, just keep replacing the stock Golf R engine. Yeah. That's what a lot of owners do as well with these modified cars. So you can spend 10, 15 grand on building an engine, but on mo mostly the Volkswagen and Audi, you can buy and pick up an engine. Like, you know, it doesn't even have to be uh, an S3 or a Golf R engine. No. They're all pretty similar. They're really pretty much like the same. engine. And, and ultimately, it's just a four cylinder engine, so it ain't an expensive thing to replace, is it? Yeah, obviously, for any of you guys, like I know the GTI engine is different to the Golf R engine, like ever so slightly. But even when you bought it, we was chatting, isn't it? Like, you know, fuck, is it gonna fuck up, boy? Yeah, crazy. yeah, I was a bit like, surely that car can't run that much power on a stock engine, four cylinder, 600 brake. But it has, hasn't it? For it's a been year. fine. It's been, it's been beaten up. Yeah. For a year. Obviously, Calvin, you know, you don't. You know, disrespect, know. like you warm the car up, you warm it down, yeah, and, yeah. You know, you do what you're supposed you know, the car you're meant to put your foot down in it, basically. Yeah, yeah, I have fun in it too, mm. right? And it's, it's been brilliant. <laughs> It does. It gets a little bit of a build-up sometimes. A little. It gets and imagine up. this car feels more secure than the RS6. The RS6 feels very light, mm. and as I said to you, it feels very sharp on yeah. the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like pretty darty. Like this mm. wheel, I suppose it could be the steering setting we're in right now. But this car just feels more sunk into the ground. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, no, it does. They? Like they the feel RS6 feels really light. Really light. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like it's no exaggeration like you know what it is I'm just referring to like all the comments I always read like this car is it's fast like it's, it is probably of fast. course you can always go faster and faster and faster but you don't need faster than this no you don't this is extremely fast like. <laughs> yeah, no one's getting out of the driver's seat it is no feeling this way point. yeah and that little hesitation there guys that's where I let, uh, let off the throttle uh, so you can see it kind of hesitating a bit It don't even feel like mine anymore. Like <laughs> tickets are nearly sold out, so I'd be careful with it, Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, a quick reminder: twenty-five pound a ticket, man. I'm like Calvin's little salesman, and I. Yeah, you are, aren't you? Well, it's, it's, to be fair, you do owe me a bit of a favour, don't you? Yeah, 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 man. Buy a ticket. Calvin's got me hostage basically because of the diff. So uh, <laughs> please, can you um, donate and <laughs> yeah, all of the ad revenue is going to go towards it and. Uh, Calvin's car fund. Yeah, yeah. Calvin's the man. Calvin is the man. But yeah, like, don't get me wrong, you know, this is a modified car, it's methanol injected, and, you know, you can have issues, you know, so even whoever wins the car, you know, you have to think about what you're doing, man, because it's not a stock car. You can go away and you can blow it up. You, you know, these parts in this car ain't designed to cope with this kind of power you know but calvin's been running it a year you know you all want cars but you know you can't really complain with 25 quid can you nah nah <laughs> Like your RS6 got to be in the 18 to 1900 kilos. I think it is about 1900 kilos. kilos. Yeah, that's 500 kilos. Yeah, it's a lot more weight. And uh, so, what is the power? What is the power of the RS6? 700 brake. Yeah, so for 100 and you know that's the difference basically. So you've got an extra 140 bhp, uh, but then it's 500 kg heavier. Oh. Yeah, Calvin. Do you know it's been really good to get out in the car and I can drive it home then. 
today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, give us some ideas, man, because you know what? Even when I watch back uh, some of the videos of me and Calvin, I do actually enjoy watching them. Uh, maybe we, we do need to do some kind of road trip. And uh, there is some very, very exciting news coming as well that I'm going to be uh, announcing pretty soon. So, yeah, definitely look out for that. Yeah, so, guys, I'm going to end the video there. Uh, Calvin, uh, check out his channel, Calvin's Car Diaries. I'll leave the link in the description. Obviously, the link will be for the competition as well. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.